Ordination of Women in Protestant Denominations, Wikipedia Article Audio Ordination is the process by which individuals are consecrated, that is, set apart as clergy to perform various religious rites and ceremonies. The process and ceremonies of ordination varies by religion and denomination. One who is in preparation for, or who is undergoing the process of ordination is sometimes called an ordinand. The liturgy used at an ordination is sometimes referred to as an ordinal. Overview of the Theological Debate By Protestant Tradition Baptist Mennonites Presbyterian or Reformed Scotland England-slash-Wales Ireland United States Europe other than the British Isles Australia Elsewhere Methodist-slash-Wesleyan Arminian Latter-day Saint Movement Lutheran Europe United States too. Africa Pentecostal Unitarian Universalist Other Protestant Women as Anglican and Protestant Bishops Women as Archbishops or Denominational Heads Ordination of women has been taking place in an increasing number of Protestant churches during the 20th century. Most Protestant denominations ordain church leaders who have the task of equipping all believers in their Christian service. These leaders are seen to have a distinct role in teaching, pastoral leadership. Protestant churches have historically viewed the Bible as the ultimate authority in church debates, as such the debate over women's eligibility for such offices normally centers around interpretation of certain biblical passages relating to teaching and leadership roles. The main passages in this debate include 1 COR 11 colon 2 A Euro 16, 1 COR 14 colon 3 4 A Euro 35 and 1 Tim 2 colon 1 1 A Euro 14, 1 Tim 3 colon 1 A Euro 7, Title 1 colon 5 a euro 9 Proponents of a male only ordination take these scriptures to limit ordination to qualified men only and indeed most proponents of the view that ordination is not limited by gender will agree that a cursory reading of these texts appear to place some limits on women's role within the church Increasingly however Supporters of women in ministry argue that the biblical passages used to argue against women's ordination might be read differently when more understanding of the unique historical context of each passage is available. They further argue that the New Testament shows that women did exercise certain ministries in the apostolic church. Lastly, often quoting Galatians 3.28 They argue that the good news brought by Jesus has broken down all barriers and that female ordination is an equality issue that Jesus would have approved of. In turn, those who argue for a male-only ministry will say that the claims to contexts that change the apparent meaning of the texts at hand to one supporting female ordination are in fact spurious that the passages that appear to show women in positions of authority do not in fact do so and the idea that the good news of Jesus brings equality before God only relates to salvation and not to roles for ministry. The very diverse organizations which employ the term Baptist in self-designation the Unitarian Universalist Association was formed by the merger in 1961 of the American Unitarian Association and the Universalist Church of America. Each organization had ordained women ministers in the 19th century. The Universalists were the first national organization to do so. Some Anglican and other Protestant churches have allowed women to become bishops. The Baptist organizations in Germany and Switzerland ordain women, 
the Southern Baptist Convention does not support the ordination of women, however, some churches that are members of the SBC have ordained women, Cooperative Baptist Fellowship churches actively encourage and ordain women to ministry, including as pastors. Baptist groups in the United States that do ordain women include American Baptist Churches USA, North American Baptist Conference, Alliance of Baptists, Cooperative Baptist Fellowship National Baptist Convention, USA, Inc., and Progressive National Baptist Convention, the General Association of Baptists Ordain Women, the Okinawa Baptist Convention, Japan ordains women to be pastors of the church, the General Association of Regular Baptist Churches does not ordain women. The Universalist Council ordained Olympia Brown on June 25, 1863, making her the first fully ordained woman minister. The first woman ordained by the American Unitarian Association was Antoinette Brown Blackwell, in 1878. 1924, Mount Sinai Holy Church of America Ida B. Robinson served as founder and first presiding bishop, 1929, Old Catholic Maria V. Church in Poland A. Euro Maria Isabella Wia Uka Kowalska and Eleven Nuns, 1980, United Methodist Church A. Euro Marjorie Matthews, 1988, Episcopal Church in the United States of America A. Euro Barbara Clementine Harris, 1990, Anglican Church of New Zealand A. Euro Penelope Ann Bansell Jameson, 1990, Evangelical Lutheran Church in America A. Euro April Ulring Larson, 1992, North Albion. Evangelical Lutheran Church A. Euro Maria Jepson, 1993, Church of Norway A. Euro Rosemary Kahn, 1993, Anglican Church of Canada A. Euro Victoria Matthews, 1995, Church of Denmark A. Euro Lisa Lottie Rebel, 1996, Church of Sweden A. Euro Christina Odenberg, 1998, Moravian Church in America A. Euro K. Ward, 1998, United Church of Christ in the Philippines A. Euro Nalinda Primavera Briones. 1998, Presbyterian Church in Guatemala, 1999, Czechoslovak Hussite Church A. Euro Jana A. Ilarava, 1999, Evangelical Lutheran State Church of Hanover A. Euro Margot Kaiman, 2000, African Methodist Episcopal Church A. Euro Vashti Murphy McKenzie, 2001, Evangelical Church of Bremen A. Euro Bridget Boma, titled President, a laywoman since the presidency does not require theological skills, 2003, the Lutheran Evangelical Protestant Church USA A. Euro Nancy K. Drew, 2007, Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada A. Euro Susan Johnson, 2008, Anglican Church of Australia A. Euro K. Goldsworthy, 2008, African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church A. Euro Mildred Hines, 2009, Evangelical Church in Central Germany. A. Euro Ilse Junkermann, 2010, Evangelical Lutheran Church of Finland A. Euro Irgia Askola, 2011, North Albion Evangelical Lutheran Church A. Euro Kirsten Fairs, 2011, Evangelical Church of Westphalia A. Euro Annette Kurzchus, titled Preces, 2012, Church of Iceland A. Euro Agnes M. Segura Degree Arta Superscript 3 Dear, 2012, Anglican Church of Southern Africa A. Euro Elena Wamukoya, 2012, Anglican Church of Southern Africa A. Euro Margaret Virtue, 2012, Church of Denmark A. Euro Tyne Lindhart, 2013, Church of Denmark A. Euro Marianne Christensen, 2013, 
Church of Ireland A Euro Pat Story, 2013, Evangelical Lutheran Church of America A Euro Elizabeth Eden, 2014, Church of England A Euro Libby Lane, 2015, Church of England A Euro Rachel Truick, 2015, Church of England A Euro Sarah Mullally, 2015, Church of England A Euro Christine Hardman, others, Protestant churches in German Lutheran, Reformed and United Churches, Protestant Church of the Netherlands.